For more than two years in the academe, particularly in the senior high school level, I have observed that students in senior high school are encouraged to join different extracurricular activities and that brought me to the idea on seeing the connection of extracurricular activities towards self-efficacy of the senior high school students. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Mr. Christian Paul R. Coronel, a senior high school teacher of Davao Doctors College Incorporated, and I am here to present to you my research proposal entitled Extracurricular Activities and the Self-Efficacy of the Senior High School Students of Davao Doctors College Incorporated. Nowadays, students are much more involved in extracurricular activities and exert more efforts to join activities. Students should not just focus on extracurricular activities, but also to understand the real essence of joining it. The students must evaluate the set of standards through their self-efficacy in which they must choose the activities that will fully give them or that will fully give their ability to produce and exercise. Further, students must be involved in any activities inside and outside of the school for them to be able to strengthen and more likely to identify their future career and set standards for their sources and interests. There are many things to be considered by a student, such as extracurricular activities and academic performance with the exploit of self-efficacy. Self-efficacy must be measured in every extracurricular activity in believing your capacity to successfully perform a task given by the teachers. It may conclude in active self, mastery, role modeling, verbal social, persuasion, and physiological uses. Being involved in extracurricular activities during high school, like sports and journalism, will help an individual get accepted to the college. One of the goals of the Department of Education is to produce an empowered student graduate who are competent enough with the skills in global context to become more productive and and deficient members in the society. In like manner, this research study is the set to know the significant relationship between extracurricular activities and self-efficacy of the senior high school students of Davao Doctors College Incorporated. In this study, the researcher also defined extracurricular activity as part of the curriculum to motivate students in the study field and to explore more through the help of the socialization and communication. Because it will help individuals share their knowledge and skills to influence others, the self-efficacy is the ability of the students to fulfill his or her task with the high expectation and the standards of the output. Furthermore, the result of this study might be beneficial to the following. First, we have the Department of Education or the DepEd. This will serve as a basis of official of the Department of Education in formulating programs that will greatly contribute to the student's self-efficacy. They may also conduct trainings to foster positive environment in achieving students' self-efficacy. Next, we have the school administrators. The school administrators may also find this study beneficial because it will show them how extracurricular activities can be a great factor in improving the self-efficacy of the students. Next, we have the teachers. It will be an eye-opener to every teacher that extracurricular activities has great impact on one's self-efficacy and they may encourage students to participate in any extracurricular activities that is available in school. Now for the future researcher, this study will be beneficial, this study will be benefit to the future researchers in relevance to the issue. They, ma they may be given additional ideas and knowledge in this kind of study. In line with, they may be Predict, they, may be, they may be predict future occurrences basing with this past study that has been conducted. 
In page 4 is the statement of the problem. This study aims to find out the relationship between the extracurricular activities and the self-efficacy of the senior high school students of Davao Doctors College Incorporated. Specifically, it aims to answer the following questions. First, what is the level of extracurricular activities of senior high school students of Davao Doctors College Incorporated? when analyzed in terms of sports, clubs and organizations, and school activities. Second question, what is the level of self-efficacy of the senior high school students of Davao Doctors College Incorporated when analyzed in terms of self-confidence, class participation, and class creativeness? And third, is there a significant relationship between extracurricular activities and self-efficacy of senior high school students of Davao Doctors College Incorporated? The null hypothesis will be tested at 0.05 significant, 0.05 level of significance. Therefore, there is no relationship between the extracurricular curricular activities and self-efficacy of senior high school students of Davao Doctors College Incorporated. In page number six is the theoretical framework. This study is anchored on the institutional theory and institutional logic theory by Selnick of 1949, in which the participation in which the participation of the students in extracurricular activities has impact to the student's achievement and it can be found in the institutional theory and institutional logic theory. This study will be further anchored to the self-efficacy theory by Bandoras of 1976, of which he stated that the capability that is most distinctly human is that the self-reflection. Hence, it is the prominent feature of social cognitive theory. Through self-reflection, people make sense of their experiences, explore their own cognitive, self-beliefs, and engage in the self-evaluation. All of those thoughts that affect human functioning and standing at the very core of the social cognitive theory are self-efficacy beliefs. <clears throat> An illustration below shows significant relation between two variables, the independent variable and the dependent variable. The independent variable, we have extracurricular activities with the following indicators. We have sports, clubs and organizations, and school activities. In the dependent variable, we have the self-efficacy with the following indicators. First, we have the self-confidence. Second, we have the class participation. And last, we have the class creativeness. The arrow between the two variables signifies the assumed relationship. In page nine is the review-related studies. This study has been strengthened by Brown of 2012 that extracurricular activities has greatly contributed to one's effectiveness. He further argued that this one's mention could be the students in the middle school, as highlighted on your screen or on my PowerPoint. According to the study and findings of Steinberg, students who are focused on participating in interscholastic athletics as an extracurricular activity are more enhanced than involved, than involved with the student's academic aspirations or achievements. In like manner, Borton and Schofield of 2016 stated that self-confidence of the student is an effect of students' participation towards school activities. As highlighted on my PowerPoint, Self-confidence integrates the power of thought and physique and focuses them towards the goal, which is the effect of students' involvement in any activities. In page number 50, is my in page number 50 in my manuscript is the chapter two. This chapter presents the methods used in undertakings. This employs 
quantitative non-experimental research design, and the respondents for this are the senior high school students of Davao Doctors College Incorporated. A researcher made a survey questionnaire as an instrument of the studies, of these studies, and the data gathering procedures are as follows. First, we have the endorsement letter to be approved by the Dean of Graduate School. Next, we have the appearance to Davao Doctors College Incorporated asking permission to conduct the survey. Third, administering the survey questionnaires. And last, we have the retrieval of survey questionnaires. <clears throat> next, next and the last is the data analysis. The data, anal the data analysis to be used are mean and person R correlation. That will be all. Thank you so much.